I'm Matthew Mugno, joined by David Marr and Gage Kilborn, the men's ice hockey beat reporters. Welcome to the neutral zone. We have not singled out or assessed individual players in the neutral zone so far this season. We're going to be talking today about some underappreciated and underrated players on the Bobcats team who is currently the number two, three team in the country. David, who is an underappreciated or underrated player that you've seen so far this season? Well, Matt, I'm going to go with Jacob Cullen. I mean, this guy's been a tremendous athlete for the Bobcats so far. I think he's the best player on the ice. He's second on the team in all point categories and second in total points right behind Colin Graff. Six goals, 10 assists, 16 total points. What I love about him is his gameplay, his ability to understand the game flow around him and how he best fits that flow. He's a guy that does all the little things right. He doesn't force passes, he doesn't turn the puck over, and he can generate speed through the neutral zone during scoring chances. He's a special talent, and just the way he plays it reminds me of Bruins forward David Krejci. He's smart, he's fast, and his speed kills on the ice. He's by far the best playmaker Quinnipiac has on the roster. Gage, I don't know about you, but that's who I'm thinking going with. All right, yeah, Jacob Quillen, he's had experience. We'll go with someone that it's his first year here at Quinnipiac, and that is Sam Lipkin. Sam Lipkin, the Arizona Coyotes draft pick, and there's a reason why he's in the USA National Junior Team here. Currently in third in this assist total for Quinnipiac with nine. And half of his points he has, he has 12 points, about half of them are because of the power play. I talk a lot about the power play unit and how they're very lethal with Colin Graff and Zach Messick kind of leading the charge. But I don't really talk much about what Sam Lipkin does as a, in the power play unit as well. He also plays a nice contributing factor. He finds the open spot, passes the puck across the ice to find the open man and find his open target. And I feel like he gets underappreciated, undervalued for what he does and contributes to on the ice. Yeah, for me, for myself, Jake Johnson is my underrated or underappreciated player so far this season as Zach Metz and Jaden Lee have led the way for the Bobcats and have done so in almost every stat category. But Jake Johnson has been unsung this season as a graduate transfer for four seasons at conference opponent RPI as an engineer. Johnson has not only adapted well to Pecknold's system, but has been a key piece on the blue line. He has two goals, four assists six points in 14 games play, and he only recorded three goals in his four seasons as an engineer. He has 18 block shots this season. He's tied third in defenseman on the team in points behind Lee with seven and Metza. He's tied second in all skater positions with a plus nine rating. He's tied second with Rossin and Metza in block shots, and he's third in defenseman in shots on goal with 19, trailing Lee and Metza. So Johnson has a bigger frame and playing in the top four has been a great veteran addition that doesn't come with the flash and praise that breakout forwards like Lipkin, Graff, and Quillen have for the Bobcats and his D partners in Metza and Lee. Follow Q30 for more content this weekend in matchups against RPI and Union, the Bobcats hosting both at M&T Bank Arena.